Fitness is about suffering. Thanks. Apparently suffering involves getting very drunk and working out. About three years ago, I was having a discussion at a bar with my old boss, and I was actually discussing with them, should I buy this expensive camera? At the time, it was a lot to me, so it was a hard decision, and he just said something to me that stuck with me, and it was, if you enjoy doing something, spend your money and time doing it, and he was right. Uh, this is probably one of the best investments I've ever spent. Uh, it's brought me to places that I never even would have considered going. Uh, I love traveling now, exploring, even locally, my city. Uh, it's really given a lot, of, uh, a lot of passion to my life. And that's really what I want to emphasize today is find something you like, even if you like it a little bit. I feel like a lot of people don't go with the full depth into something. You know, spend that money on that extra cooking class or that woodworking class. And you know, even if you don't like it, you'll at least you have learned, like, this isn't for me. And you'll get to move on and find something else you really enjoy. Because at the, end the, at the end of the day, you really want to find something you love and you can spend all your time in and just engulf your life in. And this is how it usually goes. People get new tools and in the beginning it's very rewarding because they're experiencing new things and then it quickly wears off and they're missing the huge passion boost reward at the end. Stick to your guns. Tonight I'm heading to Draymond Green in DC. If you've never been to a cocktail bar and you love drinking, uh, it's something you should at least do once in your life. This one, you have to actually text them a month in advance, so my friend got a reservation and uh, I'm gonna dress up for the occasion.